Welcome back to Native Speaker. Here we're going to look at how to use unless. Unless is a member of the if family and it's often used for negotiations and problem solving. You could start with your main clause and a subclause, and in this case, the main clause would introduce a problem and the subclause could use a conditional solution. And in the middle, we'll have a member of the if family. In this case, a negative if not. A very popular version of if not is unless. So a normal sentence could be, you can't have ice cream if you don't do your homework. We can't solve global warming if we don't address the issue of air pollution. We can't solve the issue of crime if we don't handle the problem of drug abuse. And students can't gain experience if they don't get an internship. Now how can we change this section here into unless? Very simple. First of all you'll take out if and then you'll take out the negative auxiliary and then you'll move the pronoun after unless. So you can't have ice cream unless you do your homework. We can't solve global warming unless we address the issue of air pollution. We can't solve the issue of crime unless we handle the problem of drug abuse. And students can't gain experience unless they get an internship. So as you can see, this if not part in the middle can include all negatives like won't, didn't, can't, couldn't, shouldn't, wouldn't, haven't, hasn't, aren't, isn't, doesn't, don't as examples. Okay, But when unless arrives, all of these guys here disappear. Another common mistake made by students is that they add some sort of negative auxiliary after the pronoun. Don't do that. That's a mistake. Now, a very valuable and sensible question from students is, so you're saying I can't use a negative clause after unless? No, it's possible but not advisable. Why? Because English grammar is like maths. A double negative is like a positive, and this can make messy logic in sentences. So, what do I do if both my clauses are negative? Simple. Use the original structure we showed you. For example, you shouldn't take this medicine if you are not feeling sick. Here's a negative, here's a negative, and in the middle, if. So just say, if you are not feeling sick. We can solve global warming if we have not reduced fossil fuel usage. They wouldn't have solved the crime if they hadn't received the anonymous tip. And students wouldn't get a loan if they didn't provide a loan guarantee. So here you can see that I've used a range of negatives here and a range of negatives here. I've shown you two where they are not contracted because if you don't want to, if it's very formal, you don't have to. If it's a mixture, then you can do what you want there. Um, but a wide range of auxiliary and modal negatives can be used here. So that's how you use unless. It's like saying if not, but the if nots can vary according to the tense you're using. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all from me. The very best of luck, and I'll see you all next time.